In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to program your eKIP signaling 4K module using our eKIP Connect software. To do so, our eKIP TMP programming unit is required. First, remove the front cover from the trip unit. Then, insert the micro USB cable from the programming unit into the micro USB port on the front of the circuit breaker. After the, connecting the eKIP TMP programming unit to the front of your trip unit, you are now able to scan for your device using the eKIP Connect software. Click Scan for device using TMP. After your device shows connected in the navigation menu, click Modules on the left-hand side. Then choose Signaling. In the upper right corner, choose which signaling module you have installed. In this demonstration, we are using the Signaling 4K. This screen is split into two parts. On the left are your inputs. Here is where you'll choose the input status. Low signal or normally open, meaning the input is active when the contact is closed. High signal or normally closed, meaning the input is active when the contact is open, as well as a time delay. The signal must be open or closed for the length of the, of the delay before the trip unit recognizes the input. On the right, this is where you'll program your outputs. Choose which output you would like to program. For this example, we will, we will use output four. Choose the contact type between normally open or normally closed. And also you are able to select whether the contact is, is to be self-latching, meaning the output is active and the contact will remain closed or open until it is manually reset via the signaling reset input. Most importantly is the signal source. This is where you will choose the, trigger, the type of trigger you would like to signal to an external device, such as a circuit breaker status, trips, warnings, or alarms, as well as a custom status. For this example, we will choose to signal upon any trip. Click OK. Delay. This is a time delay on an external output. You can choose a different time delay via the sliding bar, as well as a minimum activation time. The selected trigger must be present for a minimum amount of time before executing the output signal. Once you have done completing programming your output, click Apply in the bottom right corner.